Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. Um, my name is Beth and I'm back for your uh, March 2015 uh, tarot horoscope that's a health focused uh, tarot, host, tarot horoscope and this is for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Aries. Okay, um, and I'm using this special deck. Um, it's the Herbal Tarot deck. Um, it's by Michael Tierra, who's an herbalist, and the artist is Candace Canton. Um, so, as you can see, I have made this deck my own. Um, this is really um, all, pretty much all natural um, as far as health goes. And this is a different way of looking at your health. And um, I wanted to do this because I'm really passionate about herbal medicine and alternative medicine and natural remedies. And um, so I really just wanted to do a whole series on it because because I think you guys will enjoy it. So um, please let me know what you think. If you want a private reading, it can be using any of my decks. It doesn't have to be health focused. Um, feel free to email me elizabetholson31 at gmail.com and um, you know I'm happy to to do a private reading for you. So again, this is for Aries. And um, I am going to be posting all the links to things on Amazon that you can buy. And, and there's, there may be a few, a few external site websites where you can buy the stuff that I recommend. Um, and I, I do want to, you know, my disclaimer is that, you know, I'm not an herbalist. I'm not a doctor. Um, this is intuition and this is food for thought. Okay. Um, and you know, you always want to double check with, you know, any medications that you may be taking before you take any herbs. So it's always good to do your research. Um, but this is just what I recommend in general for, um, Aries for the month of March. And I know we're already into March a little bit, but you know, these, these videos are taking up quite some time to, to produce because I have to, um, post the links. So, um, like I said, I, I'm not, a, I'm not a doctor and I'm not, this is not meant to prevent, treat, or cure any diseases. Okay. So, um, but let's see what you guys got for March. Okay, March seems to be quite an intense month for you, Aries. Um, the outcome is really, really, really intense, um, which I don't like. So I'm actually going to pull an additional card for, for, for that so we don't end on a bad note. The way I've been doing my videos for the health is I am specifying whether it's guys or girls or both when it comes to, um, you know, my recommendations. So straight up, first card right out of the gate is the Ten of Cups. And this is a card that I made. Um... The herb on here originally was marijuana, but that's not what I'm saying. This this card is all about pineapple. This card is all about, it says, the need to party like a rock star. And that's you, Aries. Um, it says, time to go out and be social, have other people over. Um, it's good to eat pineapple and more fruits, add more fruits in your diet. Um, and if there's any urinary problems, um, I wrote D-mannose powder. Um, I, I usually recommend the D-mannose in combination with the tri-salt tri powder, which is, um, I'll show you. I think I've showed you guys this before. Calcium, magnesium, and potassium um, by Ecological Formulas. Um, and that's, and this is the D Manos. Okay. Um, and I don't have the MSM, uh, on hand, but I usually recommend MSM as well for inflammation. Um, so I'm going to say guys and girls here. Okay. Guys and girls. I gave some of the tri powder to an ex-boyfriend. He totally loved this stuff. 
um, he went crazy for it. I, I don't really remember why, but he just loved it. Um, I think he just felt really good after he took it. And it's possible that, you know, some people are going to have a really good reaction to it because it's de-acidifying. It's more alkaline. So if you have, if your body has been really acidic, you're eating just a lot of sugar and a lot of you know, junk, you're probably, you have the American diet, you're probably running more acidic. So the tri the Tristol's powder will help that. Um, um, the women's health, okay, for you Aries females is the issue, okay? But for men, it's drinking too much, okay? So women's health, you know, we're talking maybe urinary tract infection. We're talking, um, may, you know, just overall bladder infection. We may be talking about OBGYN issues, uh, period issues, PMS. Um, that's that's kind of what I'm feeling. It's just you're not you're not feeling. Aries females are really feeling kind of irritable, you know, and you need more fruits in your diet. You need to have fruits that um, have a lot of liquid in them, like pineapple, for instance, does, melon does. Um, I'm feeling you should eat some cucumbers. It's not a fruit, but has a lot of um, water in it. And so that would be good for you. Guys, you're partying too hard. <laughs> and so some of you are partying too hard. Not all of you, some of you, okay? So some of you need to really watch how much you're drinking, okay? And taking the D-mannose and the Trisalt and the MSM is good if you are someone that likes to drink or you are someone that likes to have a beer, you know, once a day, you know, five o'clock or have a happy hour cocktail. Um, some of you, you're consuming too much alcohol. So for you, for right now, for the month of March, I would really tone it down on the alcohol, really tone it down. For those of you who are not drinking, um, it's just that you need to drink more water and you need to add more fruits into your diet and you need to kind of stay hydrated in a positive way. Um, it is um, also a card about dating, okay? This is about going out together as a couple. If you're in a couple, this is... No, needing to do more things together or wanting to do more things together. And um, I did write down Vegas, baby, Hawaii, Florida, and California. It's time to go to someplace warm, you know. So maybe you're kind of like you've had it with the weather where you live and you're just like over it all and you need to get away. It's kind of my feeling. You need to go out. If you're single or if you're married, you need to go out. You need to have more fun. You need to party a little bit. <sighs> Females, you need to... I feel like you just need to have fun. Aries need to do stuff. Um, and you need to have more fun. And you're just kind of like... I feel like you're just very tense right now. Um, so yeah, so those are my recommendations for just starting off. Okay, and then... So what's crossing you, Aries, is... Um, I feel like for guys, this is about be feeling restricted or held back in some way or waiting for something. Um, I said restrictions, being held back, it's time to wait. Um, we, this waiting is leading to frustration, impatience. Um, things are not yet known to you. There's hidden side to secrets. There's hidden side to others. I wrote all truth will be revealed. And as always, the truth will set you free. You can use communication as your escape route. Uh, good communication will lead you to freedom. So, Aries, guys, I feel like this is more issues in relationships, and this is affecting your overall, like, mental health. Um, and you're maybe, you're just frustrated. You know, you're tense, you're frustrated. I feel like there's a lot of tension. March is a lot of tension for Aries. Just, it's a very tense time. Um... And you need to just do things that help you, like, release the tension in your mind and in your body. So, um, 
you know, I have recommended, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. I know you guys, some of you guys really hated my videos about with using my erotic deck and some of you really loved it. So I'm just going to say right out here, right off here, this is a comment that's not necessarily meant for everyone, but you need to get a vibrator. If you don't have one, ladies, get the vibrator. That's what you need. You need a release. Uh, you, if you haven't had sex for some time, you need the release, okay? If you can have actual sex, it's always great. But if you, if you, if you don't feel like you're going, you're going out anywhere, get a vibrator, okay? Definitely recommend it. Um, <laughs> every time I recommend it to my female clients, they crack up. They lose it. They're not expecting it from me, but what can I say? You got to do it. You know, you got to release. You got to have some kind of, you don't got too much frustration. You know, you either go exercise, you know, you run 10 miles, you know, you, you have an orgasm, you tell your husband, I need to have an orgasm and I got to do it tonight. You know, please help me out. <laughs> please. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm sure they would comply. Okay. I'm just, I'm sure they would. So, mm, okay. So females, okay. Um, you may be having some, again, hormonal period issues. Um, and this is the card is actually black cohosh. Okay. So the card is about black cohosh and black cohosh is a female, um, herb. You can take it as a capsule in capsule form in tincture form. And it's good for regu regulating menstruation. I wouldn't recommend it for females who have fibroid issues. I just say that. Okay. Um, uh, this is one of those things that you want to, um, read up on first before taking it. Okay. Cause it is a very strong herb and it will help you. It's great for the liver. Um, and it helps the nerves. Um, I feel like it's good. It's going to be good for some of you, not everyone. So I would suggest doing a little bit of research on this. I will post the link to the supplements and then um, doing a little bit of research on this herb before you buy it, okay? But that's my suggestion for the month of March, black cohosh. Uh, for females, guys, you do need to exercise more and you need to, you also need to have sex and you also need to just get some of this frustration off your mind, you know, whether that's going target practicing, um, telling the wife, listen, or the girlfriend, listen, this is my need right now. I feel like it's a very difficult month for you, Aries. Um, or Aries, and this is for everyone with an Aries sun, moon, or ascendant. This is going to be an Aries ascendant as well, okay? Um, now, in the distant past, you have, for both, okay, guys and girls, you have, I call this the Miss Lonely Hearts card. Um, it's the Three of Swords. Nobody likes this, okay? This is feeling broken hearted, needing to heal. Um, I, I really recommend if you haven't had a healing session with me, doing a healing session because I can work with the angels and um, really kind of help build back your heart energy um, and strengthen your heart energy um, because a weakened heart energy leads to actually, or a weakened heart chakra leads to problems later down the line um, for both guys and girls. So this is why people, you know, die of heart attacks and stuff like that because their heart chakra is weakened at some point in their life. Um, And Archangel Metatron is really great for helping um, sort of realigning the chakras and healing the chakras. Um, it says heart problems because of, lack, of a lack of love and loneliness. Um, this can also indicate a breakup or divorce um, or a relationship love triangle that's coming to an end. Um, cardiovascular disease. You need rose tincture, okay, which is... Um, you know, it's really, really great. Roses are really great for the heart. Okay. It's interesting because, um, you know, obviously we just passed February. Um, but I feel like the, if there's some carryover here into March, um, it says to start over in love, um, after much heartache and to 
some to feel attacked from everyone you love. So this is, for some of you, I feel like you have gone through a lot or, you know, you're going through a lot. Um, to me, this is the distant past. At some point, you were broken hearted. Um, you may even still, still feel broken hearted because I always feel like the foundation colors the whole reading. So Aries, you need to have your heart healed. You need to contact me about doing a heart healing session. Um, I would recommend doing the tarot cord cutting healing slash healing combo where we talk about, um, you know, relationships for, you know, the first hour. And then we do the healing after that for the set for the last 30 minutes. Um, because then if there's other stuff to be done, cord cutting, etc., old relationships that need to get go, I can do that as well. So I would recommend that for you. Definitely. Some of you, um, Some of you just need the rose tincture to exercise and um, okay it says also to eat heart healthy foods like tomatoes or strawberries you need to do that um, some of you are not really over the past, you know, or you're scared of getting hurt. Um, that's also part of this. So for those of you who like, who are say in a solid relationship in the distant past, there was some heartbreak or hurt, hurt, you know, and you got broken hearted or you were hurt in some way. There was something that happened in a relationship with you that hurt you. Okay. And you still need to heal from that. You're not quite healed from that. So that's why I would recommend um, doing, taking the rose tincture and also that, which will help maybe, um, having roses in your environment that helps. Um, but also doing a healing session with me that will help, um, not being afraid to get back into a relationship. If, like, you know, like I said, if you're already in one, then there may be some paranoia and fear about your relationship, some fears or something going on. Um, with the current relationship. If not, it's just that for those of you who are in a solid one, you need to think about your diet and, you know, and exercise more. Um, for those of you who are single, you were definitely hurt in the past and you're not over it yet. And you still need to, you may think you're over it, but it's still coloring the reading. So you need to do some things, a little few tweaks here and there to help you move on. Okay. Um, now this came up for, I think for Pisces. So some of you may be in a relationship with Pisces, um, Aries and Pisces, they naturally have, <laughs> uh, chemistry. Um, so this is the three of cups and this is in the recent past. Okay. So this is recently there was a celebration. Um, you know, maybe it's a, a birthday, um, the birth of a child, a wedding, an engagement, something going on um there was there's also for those of you if you're a guy male aries you are um uh, if you're dating okay if you're dating you may be dating three different women okay um if you're a female you need to consult again you need to consult an OBGYN. um maybe if you're having issues with your monthly cycle or, um, you know, talking about preg pregnancy. Um, this is also needing to be active, to dance, to sing, to be social with girlfriends, to go out. So I feel like really strongly Aries females need to go out. They need to have fun. They need to do things that make them happy. You know, Aries needs a lot of alone time and a lot of time to just have fun. They need fun. Guys, you know, if you're, if you're male Aries, you also need to, to be social, to go out, to have fun, to do things that are fun. Um, this is, um, the herb recommended is the trillium. Okay. And I wrote down the trillium tincture. Um, it's very helpful for females. 
Um, so I will be posting that. <clears throat> um, on my when I post my video um, and in combination so it's interesting in combination we got the um, this is the nine of cups and this is squaw vine and partridge berry okay and the squaw vine squaw vine is partridge berry okay um, it's really great female herb it's a very special um, it's a very special herb I revere it actually it's one of those things where it only grows in certain places and it has a very interesting habitat. So for those of you who want to read more about this, I can send you a link to some more information about the partridge berry slash squaw vine. Um, because I just, I just think it's a very special, um, herb, you know, um, and it's actually a little bit sweet, okay, because it's berry. Um, it's a berry. So, okay, so some of you are having, this is talking about infertility issues. Um, some of you, so Aries female specifically infertility. It can mean that, you know, you're in a relationship with Aries, okay. Um, Aries guys, you could be in a relationship with an Aries or you could have, you know, your Aries ascendant or moon and you could be watching this in a relationship with an Aries you can have like your sun in Cancer or Pisces or um, Capricorn or, or something else um, let's see so yeah so 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 for guys you may be wanting a child you may be so something that you may want and maybe, maybe you're having a difficult time difficult time finding someone who wants kids or finding um, or just getting pregnant with the person that you're with um, you may be in a relationship and you may just have a difficult time getting pregnant are you having a difficult time getting pregnant something that you want and maybe it hasn't happened yet and it's causing some frustration um, this is the desire to have children um, so that's what's crowning you um, and I did write down the squaw vine is great in combination with yarrow, romania, and red raspberry leaf. And I will post those, um, for the ladies, for the female Aries. Um, now for the guys, um, this is the king of pentacles, okay? And the king of pentacles in my herbal deck, it says it's about needing to lose weight. It's weight issues. So for your Aries male, you, you know, you may have be having some weight issues and this is the, in the position of what, you know, soon to come. So you may already be having this, but this is going to be the focus sort of mid March. Okay. Which is, which is on your weight. Okay. Female Aries, Aries too, actually, I feel like I think it may be for both of both, um, even though typically the, this is a male card. So I think, okay, so male Aries, but, um, exercise is very necessary for both male and female Aries. Okay. Um, the alfalfa tincture is great. Um, gymnema for blood sugar is also helps. Blood sugar is also great. You need to have more yogurt, um, and less fried foods. I feel like some of you Aries, guys and girls, that you have, you know, a real bond with fried food. <laughs> you love fried food, but the thing is, fried food does not love you. And it's creating, it's, it's just not helping either you feel like you're overweight or you can't lose weight or you're just like, you're not, your diet needs to kind of get overhauled, I feel. Um... You need to go either vegetarian or vegan to be on a low carb, gluten free, or diet. Um, if you take milk thistle, and I wrote down, or ginseng as well, which Siberian ginseng primarily will help you lose weight because milk thistle helps your body um, break down or sort of get rid of, I shouldn't say break down, excess estrogens, okay? Um, guys and girls can take milk, milk thistles. So sometimes guys have issues because they actually have, um, a lot of, you know, uh, their hormones are actually in balance, in, in, in balance because guys can have estrogen as well. Okay. Um, 
And estrogen loves belly fat, I will just say. So guys and girls, I'm going to say specifically, you know, working on your diet again. Uh, we've got two diet cards, one eating. For those of you, some of you just females, you need to eat more fruits. Guys as well. Um, but predominantly, I'm feeling the females on this. Um, and, but guys, you're eating too much fried food, so you need to kind of go vegetarian, have more vegetables in your diet. Um, but just, I think, for females and males, you, there, needs to be, there needs to be a balance of fruits and vegetables and less fried foods. Um, now we've got the Seven of Cups, which is in the position of emotions. And you guys are doing really good. I, I changed this card. This is the Seven of Cups. And so you can see, I circled, I mean, I, I wrote a heart around that heart. This is one of those things where it's, like in a traditional deck, it's about making choices. And what's most important to you, okay, is the cast, having the castle or a big house important, having love, um, is it having, um, you know, jewelry and, and, and riches, or is it, ha you know being real with others or having good relationships or you know what I mean what is it I'm not even sure what that is at the end there um it's 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 making choices right and I wrote on here <laughs> love is the most important thing not money not a tower in the sky and I quote from Anna Green Gables, I don't want diamond sunbursts or marble halls. I just want you. Um, and love is the most important thing. And so I feel like that is for you in the month of March, what's going on with you emotionally. You just want love. You want real love. If you're single, you're looking for love. If you were married, you know, this is, you know, you're in a partnership that that's what you want and that's all that matters you don't need to have all this stuff you don't need to have expensive handbags or lots of jewelry you just want the other person to love you and um and that's your priority this is male and female aries male and female aries um the herb on here is juniper berries okay um it's great for the pancreas um it's great for UTI, it tones the digestive system, it's great for detoxing the blood, it's great for arthritis and weight loss, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and save her uh, both male and female areas. Juniper berries would be great for you to take. Um, and what's coming in from the outside is this, this card. And it's gentian. Um, the herb is gentian, but I wrote here what's really going on about what this card is talking about is having food allergies, um, chronic fatigue, feeling exhausted from working too much or studying too much. Um, gentian is used as a digestive bitter. It increases hydrochloric acid and strongly aids in digestion. It says... <sighs> Um, to develop one's talents more, it says further schooling is needed. I wrote going back to school, um, you know, finishing school. And I wrote don't give up, you know, um, you're almost there. And it says um, this is also can be a person who's like a gardener, someone who loves all plants and animals. It says to want to live on a ranch or a farm, okay. Uh, someone after my own heart. <laughs> uh, so this is someone who, who really needs to be outside more. If you're spending a lot of time inside, you need to get out. You need to go for walks. You need to go, like, dig in the dirt, you know? Um, you need to, like, get one of those, like, community gardens if you don't have, if, like, if you live in the city, there's community gardens, especially in the Virginia, Washington, D.C. area, you have community gardens for people who, you know, want to join and plant. And they're really, really cool. Um, you just need to, you just need to spend more time outside, you know. I feel like, and you, you're, you're exhausted, so you need to take a break, whatever that means. You know, taking a day off, 
um, where you just kind of, you know, you don't do much, you know? You need your own kind of like a lone space. Um, and gentian, again, it's really good for digestion. Um, so you, got, you guys are really having a lot of digestive issues. I feel like are going to be having some digestive issues in March. So um, I'm going to put that down. So now here is where it gets kind of interesting. So I feel like You know, all this kind of tension leads to like this breaking point, okay? And it comes, I feel like, towards the end of March. I'm getting like the 26th through the 27th of March, where it just maybe it's like an explosive fight or like an explosive argument or something happens where you get into somebody and you can't take it anymore and you lose your temper, okay? Um, this is fire sign male okay so you might get into it with another fire sign male or this may be you Aries because to me this is this is you um, males Aries males this is you okay and this is the nine of wands and the nine of wands is bayberry bark okay but the card it says obstacles Two opposing views, upset, upset stomach, cold or flu, not feeling good, fighting and quarrels can be the silent treatment, um, knowing what you have to do but not liking it, it's like a long drawn out divorce or messy legal battle, feeling like the chips are stacked against you. It's very like, it just feels like you are getting into an argument with someone. And it's just messy. It's messy. And you both kind of go for the jugular. And that's not healthy. Okay? Um, and you go for the jugular, Aries. So you need to remember, if something comes up at the end of March, you need to remember to stay calm. Okay? Um, the bayberry bark is, it says, really good for stopping diarrhea if you have it. It's also good as a natural antibiotic. Helps build up the immune system. It's also, also cure sinusitis or chronic gastritis. Very interesting herb. Um, I wouldn't say it's herb. It's bayberry bark. Supplement, I should say. Um, more important than taking this, you need to just remember to try to stay calm. If you've been having some ten, if there's been some tension and you've been having some issue during March and you feel like it's getting to a breaking point where you kind of get more and more and more tense and the, the need to like, the feeling like you want to run away or just give up or just say, fuck it, you know, if that comes up, then you need to um, just check into that and, 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 and be like, okay, that's how I'm feeling right now. What am I going to do about it? You know, Aries is all about being self-reflective, okay? So, I feel like some of you are going through a breakup. Some of you are going through a divorce. Some of you are getting into an argument. Um, not everybody's divorcing. Not everyone's breaking up. And not everyone's getting into argument. But this feels to me that this frustration is going to build and build and build. And at the end of March, there's going to be something going on. Um... And it may, for some of you, for, for the fire sign, for the male Aries, okay? I feel like specifically this is for you male Aries. But I feel like for Aries women, the frustration is also there. So the, the, I should say the, it's so easy when we get so wrapped up in how we're feeling, um, that we're not really paying attention to our responses. It's easy at that point to just snap, right? So male and female areas, make sure that if you get to that point, tension leading up to the end of March, more and more, you need to go for a swim. You need to go for a walk. You need to take a day off. You need to say, okay, it's time for me to relax. Get a massage. Do something, you know, ask the boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or whatever, for a, or, or wife, uh, for a massage. Say, honey, I really need this massage, you know, or 
you know, can you please massage my feet <laughs> or something like that? You know, um, it, you need to, you do need to let go of this frustration um, because at the end of March, you have this card, which I do not like, okay? And this is the Ten of Swords, okay? And the Ten of Swords is really difficult. In this deck, it's particularly difficult. Um, it's interesting because the, the, this feels like the winter, winter time, you know, this is winter time. This is the end of winter, but it still feels like it's winter time. In some places it will. Um, it's just so much pain, so much suffering. Um, time is the best medicine. It says to need to live, the need to listen to classical music, take a walk, go to the beach, lake, pond, or river, a winter that doesn't seem to end, or a period in one's life with where extreme depression or extreme blood loss causes near-death experience, okay? Um, it also says you need to get a dog or a cat, do some journaling or writing. It says the angels are always with you, okay? So this is depression. This is um this is the build this is what's happened, okay? So this is the nine of wands, the fighting. You know, building the fortress. He's building a fortress. He's making his claims. He's saying, No, you did this and you did this and you've done this and you've done that and da 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 right? Or she has, okay? And the thing is, then the swords come out, and you go for the jugular, and, and it's a bloody mess. Um, and there's pain and suffering. And time is the best medicine. Um, ephedra is the, the medicine on here, but I don't include it because there are laws about this supplement or, you know, drug or whatever you call it. So... It's not, there really isn't anything to take um, in my recommendation. Um, I usually say time is the best medicine for this. You need to talk to me about getting a healing session because um, the angels can, you know, heal you and I can help with this, this kind of pain. This is a lot of pain. Um, this is just, it's just a... Um, it's a bloody, it's a bloody battle. It's a, there's a lot of cleanup needing to be done after a, a fight like this. Okay. Excuse me. Um, and I pulled one more card. Okay. And the card that I pulled, cause I don't like leaving off on that cause it's very negative, um, is the hermit. And the hermit says, it says needing to have some hope. It says, to be able to see an end to suffering, to heal, to get well, after much suffering, after surgery, or after spending time in a hospital, a weird chair, to recover from a car crash, an accident, cancer treatment, difficult hardship, to recover after pregnancy, uh, to get pregnant after IVF, or much trying, okay? Um, needing to find peace. I'm kind of getting a tingle, so I feel like some of you... The infertility issues you're having right now are you're going to end up getting pregnant, okay? Um, and maybe that's what the fight's about. Maybe the fight you get into with your partner is about having sex or wanting to get pregnant or wanting to have a child or something going on about that. And maybe there's some infertility issues and for Aries females, you know, and, and or males, there's some fertility issues, um... But not all of you are. That's not necessarily what all of you are fighting about. I feel like the there's frustration going on that's leading up to a fight. And then um, there's some hardcore stuff that's happening at the end of March for you, Aries. Um, and whatever it is, whatever you're going through, you know, my heart goes out to you. And, you know, I send lots of healing light to you um and i just i just want you know i just want the best for all my clients and i want the best for you so um you know you need to take care of yourself really really do um 
The final herb would a final recommendation. It says licorice calms the mind. It's good for ulcers. Um, I wrote the seed of new life. It says beginnings after much waiting. So I feel like something comes to an end. At the end of March, something comes to an end. A lot of you are going to be going through this thing where you get a divorce, you get a break, you break up, or you make a decision at the very least, and um, it's leading to some suffering and some pain. But um, after that, there's a whole new beginning that's waiting for you. So, and some of you just get into an argument or fight that's not good, you know? Um, or some of you just are kind of depressed, you know? Some of you, it may not even be a fight, you know? And that's what I feel like for a lot of you it's gonna be, but it may not be a fight. It may just be like you're frustrated um, with your, you know, life situation, your living situation, your family situation, and you're just kind of had it and you're, you know, you kind of lose it a little bit. Uh, you start to deteriorate towards the end of March. And it doesn't help, you know, that it's winter time here in the Northern Hemisphere. And, you know, the days, the days are, you know, going to be getting longer here. But it's just been, it feels like it's been a long winter. And I feel like for Aries, you need to that sun energy to go out and to feel good. I feel like you kind of are suffering maybe from some seasonal sad depression. Um, so these are my recommendations for you, Aries. Um, like I said, if you'd like a private reading, feel free to email me, elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. And I send you big hugs, big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Okay, take care.